Hey everybody, it's Woo Woo. What's up, Woo Woo family? Well, today, as always, every day, he's the topic in the news. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I know a lot of people have said it. We have to admit he is the dumbest, stupidest, one of the dumbest and stupidest people I have ever heard of on the face of the earth. Now, if the uh, FDA has warned America about this drug, about this drug, and saying that it was, wasn't was good for you, why would the president, this guy back here, start taking the drug? They said that uh, the, out, the, the effects of the drugs were more harmful than good, but, you know, long term, because it messes with your heart and stuff. He is like a... A crackhead, drug dealer, uh, that is supporting what he does, finding excuses for what he does to make it all good. I mean, and you're telling kids to say no to drugs, and that's basically all you're doing. Is that's what that's how people get hooked on drugs. Somebody tell you something good about it, so you take a chance and you try it. Okay, that's what he's doing. But you know what? If the scientists need someone to experiment with this drug, thank you, Donald Trump. Thank you, Donald Trump. You know what? Because every medication has to go through a trial period. Every medication. The scientists do things based on experiments. And they needed a dummy. They needed a fool. They needed an idiot to test the drug out. Thank you, Donald Trump. I mean, even if they found a cure for this disease this year, I wouldn't take it. And I'm going to tell you why I wouldn't take it. If you think about all the drugs that are out there that every time you turn on the news, they say, if you was taking this drug, it causes this, it causes this, it causes this, it causes that. And these are drugs that have been out there for years. So if it takes years for them to find out the downside of these drugs, why would you put something in your body that they just invented months ago? I know I wouldn't. You know, I'm not going to be your guinea pig. But if you needed a guinea pig to try this drug that he's on, you got the right one, baby. That's why he be walking around without a mask and stuff on because he thinks that he is resistant to this thing because of the drug he's on. They need to find out what else he's on because something's messing with his mind. Something is seriously going on with our president. It's a reason why he behaves the way he behaves. And all of it isn't comedy. You know, just because he's the president does not mean that he's lacking in intelligence in some areas of his life. You know, it's sad. But I understand what he's trying to do. First of all, uh, uh, election year is coming up in November. He's already put out there that, boy, when this thing first hit, I was on top of it. 
I shut us down so quick, which that was a lie. I responded so quick and took mo took actions toward everything to get us shut down. Another lie. Now he's trying to gain voters by saying, I shut the U.S. down swift and in a hurry, and then I opened it up swift and in a hurry. Hurry. Regardless of the lives that it is going to cost us, he just wants that pat on the back, those votes for people to say he opened America back up at any cost of the lives of our loved ones and our friends. You know, uh, and that's why he got on this drug. He got on this drug because he know the risk of opening us up too soon is going to cost the lives of hundreds and thousands and even millions of us. But he's trying to make sure that he is not one of us. And another thing I want to ask, tell you guys, all these businesses that are opening up, these businesses are opening up, but is the owners there at these businesses? No! Not, no! The owners are opening up with their managers and, and their employees, but they are not there. They are not stupid. It's just sad. It's really just sad. At the cost of us, they are opening up. Because if that medication was doing him any good, why would it just be offered to him? They even said that the only time they used these medications was when people were on their deathbed. And there wasn't no guarantee. It's harsh and said that it needed to be used in the hospitals. That's like being uh, Michael Jackson, Prince, and all these other people that was taking drugs that should not have been administered to them outside of the care of a doctor. It's sad. But anyway, I'm going to applaud you again for being the guinea pig to try this drug, even though it's already been tried and the FDA have already said and put out a warning that no one should be taking this drug. No one. That includes you. You, Donald Trump. You act like you are indispensable. You act like you can't be touched by anything. But anyway, not only are you the funniest and you are the hilarious, but you most definitely are the stupidest, craziest person. I haven't met you, but I've heard of you. And this is not funny. And I pray to God that you haven't encouraged your family to follow in your footsteps and get on this drug. But with that being said, scientists always have to have guinea pigs to test things on. And if Donald Trump has stepped up to the plate to be that guinea pig. And I pray to God that none of you out there are trying to get your hands on any of these drugs. You know, um, he's acting like a drug addict. He's, he's, he's putting it out there so other people will start probably looking for the drug or wanting the drug. That's like... That's like smoking weed, doing crack, and I don't know what else is out there, you know. But that's how people get started on drugs, by idiots.
like this. You guys enjoy this blessed and wonderful day and make sure that in all things you use wisdom. Don't be a follower. Don't be a follower and don't let nobody dictate your moods and your happiness. And remember, God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a peace, love, and a sound mind. Put your trust in God. You all enjoyed this blessed and wonderful day.